Hello, Leon Turner here once again. Um, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about certificates um, and how we use them in trend, why they're important and how to actually implement them. Now I'm going to concentrate this particular video on how to do this in IQ Vision because that is the most common reason for using certificates throughout our solution and system. Um, certificates are increasingly important. There are means by which computers effectively encrypt and authenticate traffic between themselves. So computer to computer more, most commonly. For us as users and engineers, that is most often between a server, IQ Vision in our case here, and a web client. So how a, a web client, a browser, sees the information they need to, be that graphics page or something else. Now it does cause quite a lot of confusion. Um, and in recent versions, there's been a wizard put into IQ Vision or into the Niagara framework, which makes creating and using certificates significantly easier. And that's what I'm going to show you today. There are other ways to do this. You can manually create all these certificates and go through various processes. Um, there are plenty of documents to take you through that, but I would suggest using the wizard. It is significantly easier. Something I should point out from the very beginning is what we're going to be doing is creating what is known as a self-signed certificate. Now, a self-signed certificate means I am going to act as the authority. So I will be basically informing all this, the computers we're going to talk to that the server is what I say it is, and it is to be trusted. And trust is an important word here. Not all um, organizations will allow the use of self-signed certificates. And browsers over time may become more picky about which ones they do or do not trust. Um, and that trust is all about um, the server actually being who we think it is. Now, in a real world scenario, when you go to your online banking and you type in your, the name of your online bank and start uh, transacting and moving your money around, then you have to ask yourself, how do you know that the server you're talking to is the bank you think you're talking to. And that is the that is where certificates and more importantly, certificate authorities come in. So it'd be very easy to fake a web page that looks very much like your favorite bank. Um, and then perhaps get in the middle and, you know, accept all your keystrokes and steal information. And that is what the real fundamental reason that certificates exist is to make sure that cannot happen. And the server we are talking to is exactly who we think it is. So after that fairly lengthy preamble, I'll go through and actually do this. Now, what I've got in front of me is an incredibly simple um, station. There is nothing in it except that, uh, a graphic. I've, I've put a user in which points to this graphic. Uh, and just to make the challenge of producing a certificate even more uh, relevant. I've actually put a timer on the screen so you can tell how long this is going to take in real time. So I've set myself a challenge as much as anything here. Right. So cutting to the chase. Now we can't create a certificate for this um, installation with a station running because we're going to need to operate on the station or at least the wizard is going to have to in the background. Um, so I'm going to, uh, well, in fact, before I do that, I will show you what these look like. In the browser before we go anywhere else. So I can show you what an unauthenticated connection looks like. So that's in Chrome and you can see I can go off to advanced but it won't let me go anywhere any further actually. So in Chrome I cannot actually browse for the, my server here. It won't let me. Now if I try Edge now it will let me go through um, but if you look, it's telling me it's not secure. It's crossed out the HTTPS. It, it's giving me all sorts of warnings. And if I actually cl click on here, it tells me your connection to this site isn't secure. Don't enter it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's given me quite a lot of information about what I should not be doing. This certificate is not valid. Now I haven't set anything up, so this is as default. So what we're going to do is make sure that doesn't happen. Um, obviously that sort of error message is quite off-putting for users and this one is just plain unusable. 
And as I said, it's down to the browsers whether they do or do not trust it. But the message is the same. Your connection to this site is not secure. You should not enter to blah, blah, blah. Okay, and it does give you some details. Now, the certificate has been sent from IQ Vision to the browser. And that's what you see here and all these details. Now you can see common name Niagara 4, Tridium, blah, blah, blah. So this is what has been installed or created, I should say, on installation of IQ Vision. And it's just a default thing. And in fact, they give you a very short timeout on these. It's only a, about a year. Um, that means it will just work a little bit, but it's not a trusted certificate. So my browser knows nothing about this, which is why it's complaining so uh, vigorously. Right, so with that said, we'll go away and fix it. So first thing to do is stop the station. So I'll do that here. And just kill that for a second. Now there's plenty of utilities within the framework which will allow you manage your certificates. There's a certificate management up here. There's a certificate signing tool, certificate signers, multiple selection tool, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but we're going to use the wizard, as I said before. Now the wizard creates several certificates in actual fact. So the process will show you. I will show you, we'll go through several iterations of this. And it's right there on the platform right click menu. Now, as I say, it's going to create a few different certificates. In this particular instance, the certificates work as a pair. So we've got a server certificate, which is the one for the IQ Vision web server itself, which and in fact can be applied to the Niagara network and various other networks where certification is required. So it basically tells the server it is who it is. The way this works is there's a sort of something called a chain of trust. Now, in the real world and for our banking example, there are various organizations around the world who um, their business is to guarantee that a certificate is valid. And these are called certificate authorities, which is this CA you'll see here. Now, we could generate a service certificate and get an external CA to sign the certificate, give it back to us, import it, and that would be good for anywhere around the world. And that's the major benefit of using a commercial CA um, is the fact that any browser will then know the certificate it's been given is valid because it can go away and check online against whoever has uh, signed that certificate. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use IQ Vision to create uh, a certificate authority certificate, which will then sign the server certificate. So it's a little bit confusing, but you need that pair. So I want to generate a server certificate. I want to sign the server certificate. I want to sign with a local CA certificate, and I'm going to generate a new one because I don't actually have one. I'm going to install the certificate authority target to uh, the user trust store, and I'm going to export the stick for authority certificate, which is all a bit of a mouthful. I'm going to set that to run in the platform, the Fox service and the web service. And I'm going to set the TLS or the, you know, the security level to something high. This is the, the latest and greatest. So it ticks in almost all the boxes. The only thing I'm not doing is exporting this so I can get it signed by an external certificate authority, as I mentioned a minute ago. And as with a lot of these demos, it takes far longer to talk about than it does to do. So generate self-signed certificate. You can see at the top here, it says configure certificate authority certificate. So this is my CA. So we will call this IQ Vision root CA. And you know what? I'm going to call it exactly the same for the other piece. It doesn't seem to make any difference. Organization is, of course, trend. The country code for me here is GB, and I'm going to set that for a couple of years. And that is all I need to do. Now I could change the key size, I'm not going to bother. Now I do need to set a password up. Very important you don't forget this, although for the wizard, it's not normally that important, but So it's generating a CA certificate. Great. Done. Now it offers me the next part, which is the server certificate. And it's important to remember that these are two different things. So this will be IQ Vision. Oh, whoops. And once again, I'm going to use exactly the same common name. And in fact, the organization is the same. 
country code is the same unsurprisingly and again I'm going to give that a slightly longer window of validity uh, make sure that is within the working range because it's it's quite easy to end up with something which expires the day after you've done it so just check that that's not the case now the server name for me here is workshop server and that is how I'm going to be addressing this my server so it's very important to get that right because if that name is not recognized and this is normally the URL or the URI that you use to get to the server so it could be a fully qualified domain name it could be just you know local host it could be the IP address it's whatever is used to address this this box so it's very important you get that correct and you can put an alternative one in there uh, should that should you need to in fact I will I'll put 127.0.0.1 which is a sort of local IP address just in case I I end up using that and that's it hit OK now what it's doing in the background is signing or this is <laughs> this is it now in fact certificate signing so it's signing the one I've just created and you can see it's populated all of this stuff automatically in here um, and it's signing my service certificate with the CA certificate now I can export that as I would really like to so I'm going to call that well I'm going to call it workshop.pem exactly the same did as I did earlier so we'll overwrite that and this is my I've only got one station on here but that's the one I'm going to apply it to cert demo and that's it so when we go to our station now which isn't running as you remember but I'm also going to have to reconnect to my platform because if you look issued by my certificates have all changed on here so even when I connect to the platform itself it's using a certificate to make sure I am who I say I am and the same will be true if we start up our station there we go it's running so if I log in and again you'll see the certificate had changed from the one I was using previously and if we go down and look at a representative web service uh, a representative service the web service in this case you'll see it's actually picked up the certificate I I created earlier if I go back to my browsers and hit refresh in fact I'm gonna, they're still not trusted yet and that's because the browser doesn't know about my certificate authority so it isn't using the certificate now these will have changed a little bit but if you look this is fundamentally the same so it's an invalid certificate what I need to do is import the certificate to the machine now it happens that the machine I'm using is the same one IQ vision rests on but the process would be you'd have to do this for the same for every machine you intend to actually use as a browser which is as I said the downside of using a self-signed certificate you need to import it everywhere you need it if it was an organization's own IT department that provided the signed certificate then that would not be the case and in fact if you use an external signing body again that would not be the case so trusted root certification authorities is what I need And I need to import one now if you remember one of the stages I ticked was please export my certificate so now I need to go away and find that it will be in my user so under so management and it's a PEM file so find all files there it is trusted root certification authorities that's a yes finish import was successful brilliant now if I close my browsers because they don't always retain the information when you think they will and we'll try again there we go trusted connection is secure 
your information is private when sent to this site. So you can see that's changed. You can see the certificate is valid. And if I do the same in Edge just to prove it, the padlock of truth, connection is secure, has a valid certificate, etc., etc. So you can see it, it, it basically works. And if I log in using the correct password, obviously. There you go, you can see the time is updated, so no trickery involved. That was about 10 minutes. So as far as using um, certificates in IQ Vision, that's the end of the demonstration. It literally took me probably longer to do because I was talking about it than it would in norm normality. Um, it, it's not so difficult a process to follow if you use the wizard. As I said, it is basically running through processes which can be done manually but i would heartily recommend using the wizard as it is quite important just make sure you pay attention at every step so that concludes the demonstration i hope that was helpful thank you very much for listening and um, goodbye